Hey Dylan, what's your favourite memory of lockdown? I don't know, to be honest. Hey Amy, what's your favourite memory of lockdown? My friends made me a really good birthday video. Hey Kieran, what's your best memory of lockdown? I was probably finally be able to use the VR hug and play games with my family. Hey Dylan, what was your best memory of lockdown? My best memory of lockdown is being on BBC Radio Scotland. So what's your craziest memory of the lockdown, Amy? My friends turned up at my window with, with, with birthday hats on. <laughs> what about you, Dylan? Uh, my crazy memory is doing a roly poly when running. What about you, Sean? Um, my craziest memory is saving a pigeon from a seagull. What about you, Alina? I heard in the paper that someone was um, going through the drive thru of McDonald's in a toy car. <laughs> Inspiring! <laughs> Maybe we should do. It wasn't very inspiring. It wasn't! How <laughs> <laughs> oh, ironic! <laughs> People making uh, packed lunches for children that go to school. Just really learning how to adapt to life indoors and how to do things from home. The most recent inspiring thing, <clears throat> yesterday I watched uh, I watched the showcase of all the young people that were on cashback this year and I found that really inspiring. Everyone working from home and doing all these, taking time for themselves and drawing and also feeling like they have gotten back with them, their inner self. Best, Best food! <laughs> Alphabet pasta and mince. I got an afternoon tea for my birthday. And it was a pizza. This thing called koji, it's Japanese rice mold. It's like natural MSG and you add it to food and it enhances the flavors. Homemade pizza! Most memorable. Zoom! <laughs> My very first time DJing live on Zoom. Uh, organized a quiz for some of my uni friends. Trying to guess what you what you draw, like the animals. Sure. It was really hard because it was so confusing, but like it was good fun. The the one I remember the most is the time we were all dancing. Do you remember? It was just like very spontaneous, and uh, it reminded me of the that Fat Boy Slim video where they're all just dancing around. It was it was a lot of fun. The language session where we were trying to guess which language people were speaking and we kind of no one knew what it was and then we kind of got it right so i think that was one of the most memorable lockdown walkabouts i walk through the field and there's lots of trees and plants i suppose um houses cars plant posts uh, trees I walk through the forest and I hear birds and see squirrels. Well, I, I don't see many people. That's, that's what I don't see. Does that make sense? You know, I, I'm so used to seeing my areas quite busy, quite crowded. So it was the lack of people that I saw. Looking around this uh, patch of, of green, which is quite small. So it's not a park, but it's like a green space and I would see other people who were probably doing the same thing as me because they didn't have enough time to go to the park but they still wanted to see a bit of green. <laughs>